all right guys welcome back my name is mehul and in this video we're gonna see what is a virtual machine what is a linux container what is a docker and what is the difference between all these um, technologies which we have so so far we have done a little bit of hello world with docker you know install docker get into it but you're gonna really appreciate what docker is and how it works when you know the alternatives right there in the market so I believe everyone here would have heard about virtual machine at least, right? So you have VMware and softwares like these, which allow you to run a completely different operating system into your own operating system. So, right, so we all, we all have used some sort of maybe like Ubuntu or Windows in a different host operating system. So you can actually run a Mac OS in Windows using VMware, right? So that is a VM, a virtual machine which actually abstracts away everything from the host operating system in some cases on a hardware level as well so you see that if you're running a virtual machine that virtual machine would actually you know reserve some sort of hard disk space some network bandwidth some ram some cpu for itself and uh, it would run as a guest kind of operating system in your main operating system so you actually have a truly virtualized environment for yourself right so this was like the vm i suppose i was supposed to on be on the slide but anyway so you see that there's a complete if this is your host operating system the outer boundary and these are the virtual machines you see that there is actually a complete full-blown operating system running inside every vm and uh, they are all isolated they cannot really communicate by default but you can just make them uh, you know communicate with variety of tricks but we're not going to get into that but basically they have you know standard um, isolation from each other in a lot of cases on a hardware level as well so the hardware uh, not even the software the hardware won't even permit uh, having any sort of communication the next is linux containers now linux containers um, i like to think about linux containers as, as some sort of light virtual machines right so linux containers are basically same as a virtual machine but instead of like uh, installing a full-blown operating system into a container what it does is that it will not install the components of operating system which are necessary um, and would kind of run a minimal version of it uh, only right so th there's a fine line here but what you have to understand basically is that linux containers are a lightweight version of a virtual machine right so it's not a full-blown operating system but uh, you know it's not either a vm as well for docker however docker is interesting to me because docker unlike how a virtual machine and a container would work would would actually not even include the functionality of an operating system at all right so the thing with docker is it uses a lot of resources of the host operating system and how does it does that it does that by using the linux kernels functionalities and all that stuff so if you're using docker you not only get a lot of control over your resource management but if docker is set up correctly you get a lot of advantages as well right so you can run a lot of containers which might simultaneously share the cpu cycles and cpu control and everything and would you would be able to pull off a lot of more docker containers than um, the Linux containers, right? So Docker does that with all the technologies and all the tech stack available to it. So we're gonna get into that, what it is, what containers are and everything uh, pretty shortly. But I believe, yeah, this this was a kind of a uh, little bit of overview, which I believe you should have before you're getting into Docker, how virtual machines work, how Linux containers work and what Docker does eventually at the end of the day. So Docker is, is a uh, docker is an engine which allows you to run multiple containers uh, sharing a lot of resources with each other but at the same time providing isolation as well so yeah that's pretty much it so that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one real quick